made it to this restaurant for happy hour. I forgot the name of it, but I'm sure when I get inside, the name will be posted somewhere and I'll let y'all know what it is, but it's supposed to be a fly little restaurant just opened up in Dallas. So we're gonna go check this out. Hello. Happy hour. That's how I'm doing. That's fine. But we have happy dreams to make you happy. I've had enough, <laughs> but I'll still take another one though. I don't mind. So, yeah, I go sit at the bar. Can't go wrong with Quavo either. Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Trust and believe, I did. You guys just opened, right? And what is this called? That's a uh, ranch water. Ranch water. Yeah, use your ranch water. Okay. Okay. This is my tempura shrimp. And I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. I believe this is the house sauce. So I'm going to try the house sauce on it. So this is the lobster with the caviar. Let's see what this tastes like. And they do it like a taco. Instead of making it into a whole roll, just do it like a taco. Maybe it's less work, I don't know, but I'm buying into this real quick. right here. So, this is the menu they have for now, because they just open and it drinks on the back. So they just open maybe a month ago. So, food, one out of a hundred for sure. But, like I said, it's a limited selection on the menu. And they don't have happy hour here. But, whatever. So, I'm gonna leave from here. Check out another spot, but I just wanted to try this spot. It's a black, black and white thing. So this is my bill for what I showed you guys. And I left a tip, like I always do. They said this is the only location. And he ran it all down to me, who the owners was, and the concept and all of that. But it's nice, I like it. It's like drawings on the wall. 
So instead of having an actual, say, bookcase back there, a fireplace, you just draw it on the wall. Instead of having light fixtures, they draw it on the wall. <laughs> All black and white theme. It's cool though, I like it. Even the floor. Instead of being real wood, black and white, draw it on the floor. It's a cool theme that's not. I'll definitely be coming back here. It's expensive, but you gotta pay for quality. And the food was amazing. Drinks, pretty good. Asian thing. So, and I'm into Asian things. Alright, you guys have a good one. Yeah, I like that place. I'm definitely going to come back. I like the theme. The theme was real cool, you know. It was different. I've been to so many restaurants all over the place, all over the country, all over the place. And that was a different type of experience. Very lively. I liked it a lot. So I'm probably about to go somewhere else after this because that just wasn't enough. And I just wanted to check it out. We're on our way to Slutty Vegan because she been wanting to go to Slutty Vegan forever. I'm not a vegan, she is. I'm a meat eater, but I'm a, uh, I'm pretty healthy. I eat healthy and I drink smoothies and I drink my Avi blend herbs every day and I work out every day. But I've tried vegan food a lot because she's a vegan. And it's pretty good. Most of the vegan food that I've had was normally at like Vietnamese restaurants or stuff like that, Thai restaurants. But Slutty Vegan, we've been seeing it online for a while. So, oh boy, back there in the scat. Look at him back there in the scat. But anyway, I'm a car guy too, so I love cars. So we're gonna try this slutty vegan out. So yeah, Juneteenth Festival is right here on this same street. But Deep Ellum be cracking. It'll be all kind of stuff going on all night, all day. It's a bunch of bars, a bunch of restaurants, all kind of stuff going on. So I think, I think we're here. gonna check this out. I thought it was somewhere to sit in here, but it's cool. Vegan burger. 
They said it had guacamole on it. I'm not sure, but it looked like buffalo sauce or something. Huh? I'd rather have a regular meat burger than a vegan burger. I mean, it's good. It's not bad, but I'm a meat eater, so I know the difference. So, but I would rather have a water burger with bacon, avocado, jalapenos, extra onions than a vegan. But it's good though. It's good. Don't get it twisted. It's not bad. It's good. They don't have indoor seating for eating in there, which is a, it's not good. And I'm going to tell y'all something else too. That last place I went to with the lobster and the fucking shrimp tempura and uh caviar you seen that small portion that that was terrible but it, i mean it was good it was bomb it was really good but i just got those two small portions for like 50 bucks i ain't tripping but i'm just saying if i'm gonna refer a spot like come on so i'm gonna come to this sushi place because we got to use the bathroom and we're gonna order something to eat it's 7 45 and happy hours over at seven so, I missed it, but I could have got my shrimp tempura for five bucks. I could have got the sake bombs for, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I keep this in my phone because in my phone I got a bunch of happy hour spots that I go to in Dallas. And yeah, now that I'm looking at this menu, this place is definitely a good place to come through. Uh, Monday, happy hour all day. Tuesday, Friday from 4 to 7. Saturday, Sunday from 3 to 5. And the list is amazing. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you all the list. But this is the, this is the sweet spot right here for happy hour. And then... What's the name of this place? Deep Sushi. Deep Sushi? Deep Sushi and Deep Ellum. I'm gonna keep this on my list to come. You're supposed to put this in here and then you drop it. All right. Woo! I do. I hate beer. I'm not a beer drinker at all, but it's a sake bomb, so. My order of shrimp tempura. I love shrimp tempura. I don't really like shrimp, but I like shrimp tempura. Mmm, so good. Like, I do not like shrimp unless it's deep fried to where it don't taste like shrimp or if it's tempura but scampi and all that other stuff and not. But, tempura shrimp, I order that every time. Anyway, we only came here so we use the bathroom. So we decided to order something, but we still got the slutty vegan in the car. And this is what? It's gonna be a wasabi glaze. So we're about to try the wasabi glaze. See how that goes. That's good too. I'm gonna mix the wasabi glaze with the other sauce they gave me. It's good.